All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Super Auto Pets. Today we're doing a pretty boring build, gonna be honest. Actually, I don't know if it's boring. Um, but we are going to be doing the Beluga with Cthulhu because Cthulhu is funny, and so is um. Okay, the draw here. So is the beluga whale, and I didn't have the beluga whale ribbon before this, so I figured there's no time like the present. I'm gonna go stocking up plenty of levels for uh, tier th tier three pets. Probably lose this. All right now we're gonna draw again. Never mind. And so for me, the key thing was how I was going to balance, um, okay, only running a four squad, but the real question was how I was going to balance, um, getting food and, like, leveling up my, um, my beluga whales. I wasn't exactly sure how I was going to do that. Uh, so I went with, uh, Hatching Chick, who we'll probably get soon, as the strategy. Selling the Chinchilla, to try to get a Bigfoot in, because more rolls is better than less rolls. And we're gonna get a tier 4 next turn, so that's good. So you now have some chances for level ups. So we lose this. No? Never mind. Once again, lizard good. Especially because even if he dies, he still sends out the lizard tail. Well, do we go crow here? Now dragonfly. It's more scaling. And there's the hatching chick. And the goal here is to find as many as possible while not losing. Hatching chick is just really good, man. I get another win. I'm gonna sell. I think I probably put in an ant eater, and then saving the chocolate for next turn to get a level two hatching chick. Just because levels are so important for the hatching chick to get at level 3 as we start getting belugas. Because otherwise, I'm wasting potential scaling. Here, we definitely lose. Yep. The word team strikes again. They're the worst. There we go. We level. Take a rhino. A salad bowl because I don't feel like rolling down that feels like a waste because of the dragonfly we are scaling the um, rhino so and the rhino is just gonna go through and basically kill their entire team and then bus trade we have an ant and we have the health to win so there you go rhino putting in work gotta love it I'm just going to start scaling up the Rhino while it's on the team. It's kind of there, I guess, for tempo. It's kind of decent. It's better than my other options. This is just unfortunate. Although, never mind, we still win. <laughs> I need to stop underestimating the lizard tail. It's going crazy. You know, 5 4 at turn 9, not bad. And we have a Cthulhu now waiting. I'm gonna prep the Beluga Whale. As you can see, we only have a level 2 hatching chick. So, a bit disappointing there. This one we definitely lose. Go to 5-3. Probably sell the rhino for a crow, yep. 
on the hatching chick because X be good. And boom. We got one Cthulhu on the team. I think we probably lose to the brain cramp giving melons out. Wait, no, it's a tie again. Forget I said anything. <laughs> Lizard tail again. Coming in clutch. Also, I'm stupid and thought that mushrooming a beluga whale would work. Um, I have no excuse for my actions. I believe I saved a crow there. Um, so we can level up the hatching chick next turn. This one we're definitely going to lose to a swan army. With lots of gold. Wait, never... Never mind, we tie again due to the lizard tail. Tail is old as time. Yeah, we do that. Sell the oyster. Sell the oyster. Sell the oyster. I'm just gonna grab an eagle, because why not? Like, seriously, why not? It's a four squad, but they have the ability to saber tooth. Get a fly. That's interesting. I believe we definitely lose this. Yeah, Cthulhu's not gonna do enough damage. Wait. Never mind, we draw again due to we win due to the lizard tail. Forget I said anything. It's honestly hard carrying. What the heck? I did not remember <laughs> how much how much it carries. Here I'm looking for another Cthulhu. Obviously, don't get it. We're just gonna grab a tapir because that's summoning. And so now we'll have a level two Cthulhu. So that gives us what twelve damage. So there's progress. Here we're running against a Pegasus team, which is cringe. AP or out of the eagles, pretty hype. Getting a hatching chick is decidedly not hype. So here we're gonna blow up all of their stuff. And now it is my team versus slimes. The Pegasus is again annoying. And we draw due to the lizard tail. Again, the lizard tail, I guess, is the hero of this run. And there's another Cthulhu. I'm just gonna put. Okay, I just want to point out I'm stupid. Uh, that one already had a Cthulhu. I don't know what I was cooking there. But it is at level 3, so I guess it's not the worst thing in the world. But still, definitely a misplay. Ironically, I get a Cthulhu out of the eagle, so... It kind of worked. And boom, we win. Whoopsies. <laughs> I'm stupid. Yeah, now we're gonna put popcorn on. That's objectively just better than what I had earlier. Now their entire team is meloned up. Which kind of makes my Cthulhu's worse. Would have been nice to hit a Cthulhu off the tape here, but we do not do that. We kill there, and then it's a draw between the boat and Cthulhu. Stupid boat. And here is Beluga number three. And then we'll just be looking for Cthulhu's again. It's just Cthulhu watch. <laughs> I mean, turn 16 with only 7 wins, we're definitely stretching things. Don't believe we win this one. Wait, never mind. Forget I said anything. Yeah, just kind of chilling. Again, I freeze. I, like, the popcorn is just better in that scenario. And again, I'm stupid and mess up. 
That was supposed to be a... What, I don't even know what they're called. Deer. And the summoned, but... That didn't happen. This one we may actually lose here. Yeah. Unfortunate. Lose to a big swan. And I don't move the hatching chick. I'm really throwing in this match. I'm going to be honest. This is like the worst plays you've probably ever seen in your life. And this is a terrible team to uh, to face with my own Cthulhu. Considering they're basically doing the same thing. However, I believe I have more summons. So it ends up being fine. Yeah. But definitely an interesting team to Cthulhu yourself. Like... If you just use, uh, what's it called? I'm actually blanking here. I'm gonna put a crocodile in the front, because we don't want any of the summoning dudes to be in the front. Um, how am I blanking? If you just put it like a hedgehog, that'd probably be fine. Here we have a Monty team, and they have a bus. Absolutely insane team shenanigans. I think we draw here, yeah, due to the melon. 148 damage from Monty. Just insane. Also, Lemon came in clutch. Kind of cringe. Also, definitely should put the higher attack Beluga in front. So here we're going against Abomination Parrot Team. I believe they're running werewolves. Interesting. So they're all 50-50. Let's see what that does. And the answer is they die because they don't have protective equipment. It's beautiful. Like, just when the Cthulhu chain works, it's beautiful. I misplayed a ton. That was terrible. We still won. <laughs> see you next time.